Hello, good evening, everyone. Sorry for a late start. Uh, Facebook still, I still can't connect to Facebook again. And uh, never mind, I'll just look into this. Okay, so we will be looking into a different one in the market right now. So you do see some of the Singapore market I'm looking at. The reason is because I'm using this way. I find that it works in 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 the my some of my way of trading in Malaysia market it works in Singapore market. So I'm trying it out. Then we'll see how it goes. All right. Let's take a look into Amazon. So market I've already started last week. I've said um we will apply the same method, uh the old method for trading and then buy and hold and then wait for it for maybe like ten or the thirty uh five or five minutes later. Then only we decide which way would they go. So this should be the point where we have uh see the market has uh pretty much confirmed where they want to go. And I'll be looking into this Amazon here. So mainly they are supporting the price. So I'm going to move in first. So position is about 5.8. So right now it's about... I'll just mention the, 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 the last few points over here. Okay. So again, the same thing. Uh, thank you for joining into this. And if you like us, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this out to your trading buddies who would like to look into the US market on how to do some of the day trades in it. And this is how we look into it. And Amazon is doing well, marking it up higher. So what I'll do here is that I'll check on the, uh, the buy sell queue here, okay, to see where is it are they do they still have the intention to mark the price up higher or the, the buyers are coming into queue at the higher price would they continue to go down lower and stuff like that so right now it seems everything pretty okay at the moment okay the lowest point that they have gone down is 93 cents so it's pretty much at the up like the moment we are making about like uh 32 it's 0.30 percent of uh, profit paper profit so let me share with you again this us market trading we are doing it for paper trading the reason is because i want to find the right trading technique for the us market uh, malaysia market we are not doing paper trading okay so those are with the real funds are going on and of course if we look into this I need to find it. So far right now, the price is being pressed down. The lesser are uh, marking, parking at the lower point, but seems like there are, some are coming in mainly at 8586, 8586, the lowest point is 83. So it seems like it's well supported. They have intention to mark it up higher. So we're going to watch this, all right? So it won't be going in and out if let's say we have been watching us for watching our live stream for some time. So it won't be moving in and out of uh, the market like few second ones, few minutes one, few minutes one. So it's just like hold and then let the price just mark it up higher. Okay. So price up. Price increase here is lesser than the previous one. So it might have shown some sign that they will have a retrace is coming. In that case, let me do a mic check to see my mic, whether is it working. Okay, it, it is working. <laughs> Let's see, 76, 770 plus. 7269, 6763. Okay, they're marking it down lower and lower. Yeah, let's see how the... This works here. The flow is mainly those smaller stocks. Okay. Wait, let me do something here.
Okay, so it seems like they are going to mark it up higher. So I'm just going to continue to hold on to it. So the thing here is that we're going to hold slightly longer time than before. Last time we only hold it for maybe a few couple of minutes, then that's it. Then we enter enter one, one price level and then we exit another one. Price is going down, a retrace is fine. It's normal to see a retrace. Just gonna hold it through. High volume prices down. Let's see whether it will close at this point here. It's going to close at this minute. One six eight, one six nine. Now starting to have some big flow coming in. Buy and sell either both for bit. So if uh using our old way to look into it, usually after a high volume they will have a rebound or a pause in price. Because if let's say this way of price movement, the price has gone down with a high volume, so it shows a pause in price. In this case, I'll just have a uh, is it okay? If the price is close higher than the previous candlestick, then I'll move in again. Enter entry more position, like average up. Volume is low. One six one nine two zero two one one seven one six. So far, the lowest point that they are supporting is at one six. Not supporting, but the buy queue that is coming in at the buy side. I can't say that it's support because, uh, at least they are queuing at the higher price. They are not queuing at the lower price. So. I think that's the very big difference compared to Malaysian market and the US market. So Malaysian market is, you need to look into a transacted price. In the US market, we need to look into this, uh, the willing buyers that they are coming in. So if let's say you open a Moomoo trade account right now, you can actually enjoy this, uh, is it? I think they still have, yeah, check the promotion. I'm not sure what kind of promotion that they have. This is Moomoo Trade, so they are licensed in the Singapore market, Singapore site, MAS. So if you are Singaporean, then you can look into it. So far right now, they are giving like one year, is it one year? Uh, that will be commission free, zero commission for certain. Hey, ah, okay. Yeah, so if you want... Open account, there's a link below in the description box so you can find out from there. Okay, 
Okay, price moving back up. I volume. So right now I'm going in for my second entry. So sign that they have support a bit of uh, it at uh have orders coming in at the higher price. Six three, six five. 63, 63, 6257, back down a little bit. 4.9. Back up to 4.6454.1. Mm, 4.3. Still, someone is actually queuing at a higher point. Queuing at a higher price. Seven. Not placing higher than six eight right now. A little bit of pause in price. Okay, so right now they are parking at the higher point. At least move up to seven, not six. So let's see how far they go. At least I think they will have uh because right now the volume is lower than the previous one. So when it's going to pause, I think at least there will be a volume that is higher than a previous candlestick, then it will have a pause in price. Like this one over here, you can see. Volume high, price up, and then start to go retrace. Volume high, price up, and then goes for retrace. So which means it might, hmm, might not be higher than the previous one, but uh, let's see. Because we can't, we can't, is, as a trader, never put your expectation into the market. Always react to the market. So we do see parking at 7.6 in this. And lowest is 7.1 so far that we have seen. Okay, down to 6.2, which is the lowest point. 5. 50 over cents. Let's see whether you guys can see this or not. Can okay. Just remain it this way. Okay. Price is higher than previous one with this showing up. So it's usually there will be a retrace or a sideways coming. So they have a much more lower retrace here. Hmm, parking lower. Such a high volume at such a high, uh, just started with the retrace. I don't think it's going to go down much in this case. That's based on my experience of looking into it in the past few months. Let's see where do we close. Okay, close at 6.8. So, it seems a continuation of price up. Or oh, move sideways from here. So, I'm just going to wait. Continue with this uh, open position. So, let me show you guys. This is the paper trading platform. So, right now it's about 0.06%. 2,000 units are entered. Cost is about one 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 point five two. Six eight seven two marking up placing up higher. 
multiplier 7374 it's 6 it 4 it 5 at the moment the result is about negative uh, 4000 point four three percent the reason yeah previously is not uh trying out so some profit and loss is fine from some losses is fine until if let's say we can consistently make profit out of it then we look into it with real funds placing at the lower point This, this, this. Okay, prices volume is not lower than previous. Three six four sixty one sixty five six five four five two. It's going down lower and lower. They are parking their orders. I think this is a bit of a pause in price. Price up. might be just moving sideways right after this this one is going to close lower than the previous one if i'm not mistaken looking at the price movement like this so yeah it is going down Let's see the volume end of this and see how it goes. If it goes down like this and the volume is higher than previous one, then not much that is saying that it's going down. It is higher than the previous one right now. So continuously watch how it works. I mean, how, how the price movement is. It's, it is. I'll just continue hold on to this and wait. The volume flow, oh, this shows the increase in the amount, doesn't show whether it's outflow or inflow. If it has the outflow, like what time it has more outflow, what time it has more inflow, then it'll be better. Okay, we see price movement start to have a little bit of rebound. So I'm not sure they will whether it will continue market up higher. So as it is that we see, as long as there's a high volume and then at the bottom, they start to have a, but it depends on how far that the retrace it is. So with this kind of price movement like this, then they have the price down. It's more like they usually what, why they do this is because they want to let the volume to soften up a bit before they have another round of trend. So that trend, we need to see whether it's an uptrend or maybe it's a low trend, a downtrend. So to decide this, this one here, if it is moving up higher, then it shows that it's more into the uptrend side. So if it doesn't, then it's going to continue to have a sideways. Okay. 
volume is lower also. So here it pretty much fixed the bottom of it with the volume. The Q price is about seven three to six nine. Now seven four. Uh, I move up to seven nine seven eight eight one. And down to seven seven. So four cents of difference. Not just four cents of difference. Seems like more. Eight six. So I think pretty much it is moving up right now. So I just need to watch. Mm. Two, three. Volume is higher also. Down high volume price pause. Let's wait and see. See this candlestick where it goes. Where does it end? So just one minute. Volume inside the previous one usually is shows not much of intention. Small sell down a bit. There's some selling coming in. Looking at the price pickers over here. Big buying up. So for three seconds left. Alright, I will if it close at this point here like this, I'll take the profit. That's it here. Alright. Mm, price pause down. So today profit profit transaction. Hey, Amazon. So average price was about like five. Two five three, so to profit at eight four, so that should be about like maybe around eight hundred of uh, profit. Let me refresh and see. So okay, yeah. So it doesn't matter if let's say the value or not. So right now, what we want to achieve is actually the consistency of the profit that we can make in the market. Okay, so of course I need to fine tune this where the price want to move up higher also. And so far, seems like using this method is a little bit more understand like what is going to happen next for the price movement. Okay, so I think this one continue move up higher. So yep, we're gonna look into it uh later after this. And that's about it here for today. I'm just gonna enter this Amazon again and then. I'm going to hold it up until the end of it, okay, and then I'll continue monitoring it. But so far, things, it seems like it's much better uh, compared to looking at the tickers. The tickers just move up and down, up and down, up and down. So it seems like the ticker side is not really the point, the main thing that we should look into to decide where the price is going to move. The buy-sell queue is where it gives us more hint about the price movement, whether they move up higher, okay. So that's um, what we can see in the market right now, uh, in the in our trades. So 
two four. Okay, I bought it at a higher price. No high volume yet while the price moving up, so we'll continue to buy. Okay, so that's about it here. Um, uh, good trade, one trade of profit. So which is better than a few days back, a few weeks, a uh, few weeks back we have uh, losses where we still haven't come up with set a complete way of strategies and planning to trade in the market. Okay, so that's about it here. Thank you very much. Remember to give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it out to your trading plans, uh, trading friends, so <coughs> so that um we can look into the market together, uh in the future, in the live stream, and learn from it together. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Wrong and search. True traders react to the market.